Hey guys, okay, we're here at the Palm Beach. Let's start over. Okay, hey guys, we're here at the Palm Beach International Boat Show with, of course, Captain Sean. This is our special anchor watch because we're not on tonight, but we will be back in a week. Um, Captain Sean, we are on board one of the most famous ships from below deck. We are on board My Sienna, which has now been rebranded as Starship. But as you can see, not a whole lot's changed to some of the interior. And over the next 15 minutes, we're going to go over some of the changes and we're going to show you parts of the boat which you've never seen on the show. And welcome to My Sienna, um, which is actually now Starship. So we're going to give you a tour of the boat. You're going to see some things new that um, if you were a big pay, if you're paying attention to my Sienna and its evolution, you're going to see some new things, some new furniture and some new style on board because it's been rebranded as Starship. And Sean, where is, uh, well, formerly my Sienna Starship known from the most? Below deck, of course. We're in the uh, we're in the main salon, and uh, some of you, of course, you recognize this from the television show. But you're going to see we've got all new furniture in here. Actually, I take that back. What we've done is reupholstered the chairs and put a new couch in here. This table you'll probably recognize from the uh, the Sky Lounge, which will go up, which will go up there, and we'll show you what's new up in that room. And of course, the main dining room table with a lovely tablescape by Kim Sabers. Recognize the galley, Chef Rachel and all her antics are in here. But some new things going on in the galley. We've got brand new countertops. They've redone a lot of the freezers. The uh, new new dishwashers. <laughs> for those of you, for those of you dishwasher fans, uh, we've got new dishwashers here in the galley. But uh, yeah, new countertops, new camera system. Uh, they've really done a nice job at upgrading her. The main foyer here on board uh, on board Starship. A couple of subtle changes. There's a little bench here because before every time when people would come on and have to take their shoes off, to put their shoes back on, they'd have to go sit on the stairs. But anyway, we made this nice little bench with some storage that goes right here. And as you can see, the uh, the party never stops on board Starship the same way it never stopped on board by Sienna. Into the master suite, the master is relatively the same. There's a couple of new pieces of furniture. They reupholstered these chairs, new beddings, a new bed. And then now we'll take a look at the his and her um, bathroom suites. On the his side, we've got new artwork. They toned down the they toned down the wallpapers a bit with a, with a new look, some new sculptures. And I don't know if they ever showed the main bathroom in the uh, in the main bathtub here in the master suite, but some of you will probably remember that there was a big mural painted on the wall. That is, um, is behind the new uh, wall covering, but they did leave the skyscape up here on the ceiling. And into the her side, not a whole lot has changed. Um, tables, vanity, and of course, ample closet space. So of course you'll recognize the crew mess from below deck and on board my Sienna, but nothing much has changed from the new branding of Starship. Same table, same green floor, same walls. Now one of the things that you probably never see on board below deck is the engine room, and that's what we're going to go into right now. So we're here with Simon, who's the chief engineer on board Starship. Say hello to the world, Simon. 
Get in, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look. We're gonna bring you inside the engine room and we're gonna show you where all the real magic happens on board. Without getting into specifics, we've got two Caterpillar engines, fantastic engines. Caterpillar, Caterpillar generators, which are in these large boxes behind us. The boat has water makers on board, compressors for air conditioning, compressors for refrigeration, and a litany of other pieces of equipment. And that, in a nutshell, this is the engine room. This is the part that you never see while you're on, while you're on, uh, on below deck. here in the pilot house of Starship, AKA My Sienna. Anyway, some subtle changes up here. As you can see, we've got a new carpet scheme, which is the navy blue and the white, which frankly, I like better than the red. On the bridge, some of the things that you really, you, pro you might not be able to recognize, but a new camera system on board, on board the boat. We've got a new switching gear, so we can look at all sorts of, we can change these screens into different configurations. That's what this box does right here. Um, a brand new autopilot, brand new controls. The, the current owner has really put some money into the engineering of on board this vessel. So, updated electronics, updated bridge, new tiller, she's good to go. So where we're gonna go now is a cabin that you never see on board below deck. And the reason is because when the uh, production team's on board, they actually need a room to stage. This is where all the cameras are. They're actually not where all the cameras. This is where all the monitors are, where they have the sound. This is where all the raw footage goes before it's then sent to the studios on, on land, or then it's edited again, and then it goes to Hollywood or wherever it goes to get it edited until it finally comes out as the final product that you see on Below Deck. But this is also one of my favorite cabins on board the boat. It's the VIP suite. So we're gonna go and check it out, what it looks like when it's all put together. So it's hard to imagine this room without the bed, without this table, the carpet's covered, the wall's covered, completely filled with banks of monitors. Here is actually where they would have the tables that was lined up with all the monitors on there um, and all the sound equipment. Um, this, was, this was ground zero for the production of Below Deck. The, now, what they've done since the, uh, since it's been turned into Starship is new carpet, new upholsters on the chairs, and a brand new bed. This actually bed used to be higher and it covered up this nice mirror, so they lowered the bed, made a new frame, put new mattresses, they're all sleep number beds, super comfortable, and I think this is the best room on board the boat. Now, prior to turning this into a VIP suite, when the boat was New Vita, this was actually the gym on board the boat, so it's been used for a bunch of different things. This little cedar pine closet was actually one of the production assistants' offices while they were on board, while they were on board the boat. And in the bathroom, uh, the production crew loved their snacks. And they had this, this whole thing was filled with shelves, just filled with like Oreo cookies and Cheetos and stuff. They had, they loved their snacks, but they didn't love their healthy snacks, which I always thought was a bit surprising. So this was all storage racks. This goes to the deck. So when I was the captain on board on board New Vita, and I couldn't find my chief stew, this is where I would find her, because she'd be up here sneaking cigarettes. So, 
Now, one of the other things that you never saw on Below Deck, I don't know why, is we do have a sauna on board. Maybe that they thought that there was with a sauna, there'd be so much shenanigans happening that no one would get any work done. Now, some of you will recognize this chair from the opening scene on Below Deck, where we had that very first crew meeting, where I famously said, I'm not very good at cracking the whip, but I'm excellent at swinging an ax. Uh, that scene was so edited, and people accused me of being like, oh, I don't want to work for him, he sounds like a tyrant. That was actually a 45-minute motivational speech, which was edited down to about three minutes. Anyway, but I'm still good at, you know, I'm still good at swinging an axe, I'm not so good at dragging a whip. So this is actually where a lot of the, a lot of Below Deck was, was filmed, on this area right here. These are all the scenes that you see when they're at the dining room table. This is it. Now, what you'll probably notice is that they've changed the color schemes. They've, the colors of the cushions, the piping are different. It's lighter, brighter, and whiter. Uh, which I think actually is an improvement from the old scheme. What's the difference in hull colors? Is it, is it a personal preference? Is like, do some colors look better than others? It's like, well, for the most part, color is a personal preference. Like behind me, you're gonna see a blue hull boat and a white hull boat. Now, very, different types of maintenance programs that you have on board on board those vessels. Blue is a much harder color to keep clean than white. It actually salt glows on board that. Uh, whereas on white, it's a much more forgiving color. So some of you have given me a little grief for when I kind of, Eddie set up the beach club and I went down there and reconfigured it. And uh, for the most part, my configuration was better. Anyway, now we're gonna head down to the beach club. So this is the beach club. When I was on board, they had the exercise equipment down here. They had the treadmill, they had the stair climber. Um, they had this actually this exact same furniture. It's set up this way because this is easy to move. They've got two jet skis, which we're gonna show you in a second on the back swim platform. Those live inside this compartment. Now these items right here, they're called sea bobs and they're like an underwater jet ski. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you can go up, it's like, it's actually, it's like riding a dolphin. If you haven't ridden one, I highly suggest it. They're a lot of fun. People from relatively young to relatively old can use them easily. So that was a behind the scenes look here on board Starship, which of course used to be my Sienna from Below Deck fame. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you tune in to us every Tuesday night on Anchor Watch for more great fun Below Deck discussions, and of course, with me, dive in with Captain Sean.